Do you want to look up downtown Seattle? Yeah, let's try downtown try Seattle. Look. King 5's Rich Marriott says modeling has jumped leaps and bounds during his decades as a meteorologist. It's so much better than what we had to look at 30 or 40 years ago. We sat down to explore a new risk factor tool by the nonprofit First Street Foundation, examining heat, flood, and fire risks place by place. So you can, in the state of Washington, for example, see the differences between over small distances. The fact that Wood Bannon will be cooler than Issaquah or Olympia or whatever. This actually can show up in a climate model now. According to the tool, Washington as a whole is set to see changes, but the main concerns depend on where you are. Here in Seattle, the risks of flooding and wildfires are supposed to remain minor. Where we could see a moderate concern is when it comes to heat. But here in Federal Way, while there is a moderate heat risk, there's also another concern, a moderate risk of flooding. And here in Issaquah, the concerns of heat shouldn't be as great, but there is a big risk of flooding. Going further east towards Ellensburg, there's already a high risk of wildfires. That will remain, but high temperatures are expected to increase, adding to high danger days. So how can knowing help us now? The important part of a tool like this is if you're planning on moving into an area that you know what you're dealing with. If you're moving into an area that has a high risk of wildfires, and maybe you don't want to move into that area. Tools like this may also point to places where firewise prevention and heat mitigation measures might be most important. In Seattle, Erica Zuko, King 5 News.